Hello everyone, this is Aprox and in this video I will be sharing with you guys what video settings I use to have the quality that I have in my videos, especially the Warframe. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to our uh, desktop and open a video control panel. I'm using Nvidia because, well, I have an Nvidia GPU, but if you have a Team Red AMD GPU, you probably have some sort of control panel as well. So try to look for similar settings in there. I never had an AMD GPU, so I can't help you there, but I'm pretty sure you can find it yourself. Anyway, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to 3D settings and we are going to enable image scaling in global settings. The percentage doesn't really matter because we're going to override it anyway. Just click OK and apply and yeah, that's it. One thing to note that when you enable image scaling, your stretching or scaling mode is going to be set to default to aspect ratio. That is happening because uh, Nvidia drivers cannot scale and sharpen at the same time. I don't think any driver can, but anyway, if you're playing some games on stretch resolution, like Counter-Strike Global Offensive, you may have to go back to 3D settings and disable image scaling in global settings before you can have the stretch image again. So that's something you're gonna have to live with, but it's no concern for Warframe, so let's continue. Once you have image scaling on, you're gonna have to go to program settings and find Warframe in the list. And if it's not there, just click add, browse, and you're gonna have to go through to your Steam library, which is wherever you have your games installed. Go to Steam apps, common, find your game in that library and pick the exe file and click open. This is going to bring up the settings for that specific application. So the first thing is image scaling, image sharpening, the one that we enabled in global settings. I usually have it set somewhere from 10 to 20. 15 seems to be like a good middle ground for me and it looks okay in videos that I record and live in game. So I just have it at that. Anistropic filtering. I set this to the highest number possible because I like sharp textures and it really helps to bring that oomph in the visual quality. I choose to do this in here rather than in-game because the driver level settings are always going to be better than in-game settings. Next, anti-aliasing mode, enhance application settings, just because we're overriding, anti-aliasing X8 for best visual quality so we don't have any jagged edges on diagonal lines. Now anti-aliasing for transparency, I only set it to multi-sample because it is only going to work on transparent textures, which are transparent, so the jagged lines aren't that visible in the first place, and multi-sample doesn't really impact the GPU performance that much. Next, we have low latency mode, which for any games that aren't competitive in nature, like Valorant, CSGO, whatever, I keep off, because it helps improve smoothness in overall frame rate, and it does that by allowing longer frame times, so it doesn't push your GPU that hard, and it just results in overall smoother uh, visual experience. Max frame rate, set it to 75. Even though I have a 240 Hz monitor, 75 frames per second are more than enough for Warframe. Monitor technology, G-Sync, just because I have it, you don't need it, but I do recommend pre-sync or G-Sync for lower refresh rates. Don't use V-Sync, however, it's horrible. It's gonna introduce uh, input latency and all sorts of weird stuff, so, so don't use that, don't use that. Now multi-frame sampling, I turn it on just because we have X8 anti-aliasing and it helps reduce artifacts, power management, optimal power, so it doesn't need to always run at maximum clock speeds, resulting in better temperatures. Then texture filtering, set the clamp for better quality and texture filtering quality set to high, again for best visuals. Thread optimization, again set to on because modern systems have multiple cores, it just boosts the performance. Vertical sync, hard off. I don't want to deal with that. It just, it's it's horrible. Don't don't use vsync. Come on. Then once you're done, you hit apply. Your screen is gonna flicker a couple of times, and you're going to be good to launch your game. Now, once you're in game, you're gonna to want to hit escape, hit options, go to display tab, and before you change anything else, I highly recommend you switch to enhanced graphics engine if that's an option, of course. Then, display mode, borderless window for smoother tabbing in and out of the game. This will also lock your game at your native resolution, so you don't have to worry about that. 
max frame rate, it doesn't matter what you pick here because it is going to follow the video driver settings that we changed earlier. Now, colorblind compensation. I use Protonopia at 15% strength. Don't ask why, the game just looks way better with this setting, in my opinion anyway. Then brightness at 60% just because when I'm recording I like to have a little more detail in the footage that I capture so I have more options in post-processing. This will also let you see darker areas of maps so it kind of helps with visibility altogether. Contrast 50, leave it at default. Field of view 90, don't be a weirdo, set it to max, so neither you or anybody that may see what the hell you're doing get motion sickness, okay? Screen shake, disable, this is a horrible setting. Reduced teammate visual effects helps a lot with clarity because of embers and revenants of the world. Effect intensity set to 80 because, well, I like to see the effect colors or the ability colors that I set in my fashion. That's the only reason. You can also set it to zero if you're doing like idlons, for example, so we have very nice and clear view of the action. But in default setting, like when I'm running missions or whatever, I set it to 80. It's just a nice middle ground for me. Local reflections off. This game has horrible reflections and quality. It just, just, just turn it off. It will definitely improve the overall visual quality of the game. Volumetric lighting, I have it on. It's a good improvement. Glare and film grain are off, just so I retain that sharpness in the, in the image, not only for recording, but I like to see things clearly. And glare can be tricky sometimes, so I don't like that, so I have these things off. Ambient occlusion and high shader quality, just as a default, it just improves the overall quality of the picture, so it has to stay on. Dynamic resolution set to auto because of some weird moments when the game decides to reload or load new textures at times like mid-mission. It reduces stuttering quite a bit because it loads assets progressively, improving the quality over time. Now, geometry, a high. You have to have high polygon counts in your models, so set to high. Particle system has to be low. I would turn it off if I could, but I can't, so it stays low. GPU particles disabled. I hate particles in this game, it's extremely excessive, so it, it has to stay off. Shadow quality high, texture memory high, and entropy filtering, I turn it off, even though it doesn't matter, because the game is going to use video driver settings that we changed before. Prelinear filtering, set it to on, it just smooths out the image. Anti-aliasing, set it to SMAA, medium. I don't use the high setting because it over sharpens the image and it looks terrible. And remember, we've sharpened the image by 15% in our driver settings, so the blurriness that this setting provides is compensated by the sharpening that we did an on driver level. Okay? Depth of field, turn it off. I hate blurriness. It's weird. This game has a horrible depth of field, like blurring level. It doesn't scale with distance properly. It's, it's just funky. I just turn it off. Motion blur, don't be a weirdo, turn it off. Distortions, while they can be fun, I don't really like them because, again, I like to have a high quality image at all times. So this helps prevent the loss of quality or weird, well, distortions. Bloom, I like to have a little bloom just to kind of bring the image to life without sacrificing any significant or noticeable uh, image quality. So it stays on at 20. Color correction off. I don't like what the game does with colors. I don't like the effects that it has. It's just weird and cheap, so it stays off. Dynamic lighting, character shadows, contact shadows, and weapon elemental effects stay on because, well, they add detail to the game. Although you could turn off weapon elemental effects if you don't like fiery swords, but I do, so it stays on. And that's about it for video settings for this game. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel, and as always, this has been Aprox, thank you for your eyeballs, and I'll see you in the next one.